You're right. This is awesome. I heard you say awesome. <coughs> Word problems can be awesome. This is about combining reading and math together. You have to like at least one of those because that's pretty much all that there is in life is reading and math. Now, with word problems, there's some basic steps that we follow here every time. The first step is naturally to read and understand what the problem is saying. Is there a picture that you need to draw? Is there a diagram that will help you out? Draw that. Do you understand what it is that you're looking for? Do you know what answers sound appropriate? Think about that. Make notes about that. If the problem is asking you how old somebody is or how much somebody weighs, you shouldn't have negative answers, should you? No. If the problem says how many donuts did the donut shop sell and you come up with 31 and a half, why was the donut shop selling a half donut? I don't care if you ate half, I'm still going to sell the whole donut. <laughs> I will gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. Once you know what you're looking for, then you will define a variable. And when we talk about defining a variable, you will be precise in how you, in how you define this. Okay you'll say something like this. Let x equal some number. This lets your audience know that the x they see in your equation is just representing the missing number. Or maybe you have this. I want h to equal, say, the number of hot dogs sold. Be precise. Don't let H be hot dogs. It's probably going to be something like the number of hot dogs or the cost of a hot dog. Whatever it is, you need to make sure that you state that clearly for everyone. Once you know what your variable is, then the third step is to write an equation. This is the most difficult step of all, is writing the equation. Taking what you <coughs> see, bless you, in the word problem and writing that equation. And hopefully, if you, if you can write the equation, then step four should be easy. What do you think you would do after you write an equation? You're going to solve the equation. After you've solved the equation, before you go on, you need to make sure that you check and analyze your answer. So check and analyze. Again, does your answer make sense? Is this an appropriate no value for the cost of a hot dog? Does this make sense that there were so many students in a class? You know, does Mr. Smith really have 19.25 students in his class? Probably not. You made a mistake somewhere. Figure it out. And then the last thing that you do is to state your answer. If the question says, what is the number? Then an appropriate response to that question is, the number is, and you state what the number is. If it asks you how many hot dogs were sold, you can say, well, the vendor sold 57 hot dogs. You write a sentence. Okay. So let's take a look at the word problem handout that I gave you, and let's try to work through this next problem. I think this is the first one on the handout that I gave you. We're going to go through all of these steps, and hopefully you can see how everything matches up. So here we have a word problem that says 4 times the number plus 19 is 71. What is the number? Okay. Is there a diagram that I need to draw? No. There's nothing really too special about this. It's just giving me the description of a number and how it relates to other numbers. So that part seems to be okay. The second step says define a variable. Okay. What variable would you like to use? 
What's your favorite variable? X, right? So what we do here is that we say, we say that we're going to use X. So we'll say let X equal, and what is X representing in this problem? The number, right? And it makes you feel better to say the missing number you can, but you could just say in this particular problem that x is equal to the number. That way when I'm working my equation, I know that I see x, but I also know that its meaning is the number that I'm looking for. So the third step says to write an equation. This is where you have to take the words in the problem and write the equation. Now, I, I stressed this to you the other day, that you look for the word that tells you where your equal sign is. And this can help you separate all the words into the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. So where do you see the equal sign in the sentence? Is. Is. Right here. That's your equal sign. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this right here. How do you write 4 times a number plus 19? Four x. 4x. plus 19 is or equals what? 71. Equals 71. So we take the words, just like we were doing in the last video, we translate the words into an algebraic expression. This time though, we have an equation, so that means we get to solve this. So that's the fourth step, is to solve the equation. All right, so when I solve this, what would you do? How do you go about solving this guy? We would subtract 19 because that's going to give me a 0 on the left along with the 4x. So 4x equals what? 71 minus 19 is 52. And how do you finish solving this guy? Divide by the coefficient of x, which is 4. Do we divide by x itself? No. If you divide by the variable, you will lose points. Plus, you make them mad. I'll have to put you in the penalty box. So what is x equal? x equals 13. Now, the fifth step here says to check and analyze. There's not a whole lot of checking and analyzing that we can do here, because when I say we're finding some number, that number could be anything, a positive, a negative, a decimal, or a fraction. So it's very difficult for us to really get a good grasp on if what we have is right. The only thing you could do is to plug this guy back into your original equation and see if it works out. Now, this is all provided that your original equation is correct. All right, now the last step says to state your answer. The question is asking, what is the number? So what do you say? We don't want to say x equals 13, but writing a sentence, we might say, how do you respond to what is the number? We'll just say this. We'll say that the number is 13. That is how we would state our answer. Questions about that?